Fire away. <laughs> Andrew, with all, almost all of your NCAA qualifiers are coming off SEC championships. Do you like that, or does that in terms of the motivation that you could have it this, this weekend? I, I do. You know, you, you want a proven commodity when you go into the NCAA. You don't want somebody who's uh, never sort of experienced and been in the fire, and, and having all of them have been in the fire before is really cool. And knowing that they've been challenged and tested and responded positively is a big thing for us. Has anything changed in preparation for this and what they did to routine? Yes, um, I, I think there's been some added stress because um, we're trying to anticipate what's going to happen next weekend. So we need to sort of put them in pressure packed situation and watch them respond positively. So we're trying to create a situation where practice, we're imagining ourselves being there and having. Uh, the sort of uh, number one competitors next to us and having to respond to that. And that's been kind of a tricky because it's a situation that some of the girls have never been in but and guys have never been in, but they sort of have to use their imagination to sort of make that situation real and respond to it. Uh, so we're playing with some of that a little bit, uh, and also we're trying to put them in you know, a negative situation and see how they respond. So if something was to happen in the meet where things didn't turn out the way they wanted, there's not a sense of panic. It's like, okay, you know, having a poor start, you know, let's make sure you have a, a bad start and see how you react from that because irregardless whether it's bad or good, you still got to get in the final. So all the situations we're playing in, in, in my mind, especially for those who've never been there, um, and those who've been there, we're just trying to think about what happened last time that made it bad and to make sure we fix it now so when it does happen, there's that sense of calmness that happened with the kids. Uh, um, a little bit up and down. Um, some people are having butterflies. We're, we're having some practices where things don't turn out so good, and we've got a, a few tears even there. Um, and, and I think they're just afraid to mess up. They're just afraid that that moment is going to happen. Uh, so it's a little bit on edge right now. Um, it's considerably a, a, a big amount of pressure because we've got a chance to do something pretty special and unique. And I'm just trying to remind them that going into SECs, you know, nobody thought that Podunk, Kentucky was going to do anything. But lo and behold, it wasn't so Podunk. And lo and behold, there was just a small group of us, and, and we, we did quite a bit of damage. So I'm um, just trying to remind them that we've been there before. We've been the underdog. We always and still are the underdog. The expectations on us are very little. And we want it that way because we want to be coming out there and shocking the living heck out of them. And, and that's what I want the kids to focus on is we're the underdog. You don't have to go out there with the pressure on your back that you have to do something unique and special. All you got to do is show up. The gun's going to go off. You compete your butt off. And then when it's all said and done, we'll deal with the, uh, the consequences. You talked about your small roster size. You brought nearly half the number that you were allowed to bring to SEC. That risk paid off. Absolutely. Um, you know, unlike a real team sport where you got a guy that got to pass the ball to somebody, the quarterback has to throw to somebody else, in the end, each athlete basically has their own lane or their own throw or their own jump, and they have to sort of figure that out for themselves. So for us, what I didn't want is to have a situation where the momentum was growing, and then you get a couple of guys that sort of drop the ball, and then you got a problem. The next guy is sort of nervous, or next girl is nervous. And every time we had somebody from Kentucky line up, it was good because there was no sort of a downside to, to one bad event or a couple of bad laps or a guy getting lapped. You know, it's almost like you're a kid, somebody just won, it's your turn. I can't wait, it's my turn. And then the next guy sort of have a poor race and it's like, oh. And I just didn't want to have that, oh, in between. And we kind of got rid of all these sort of, oh. And everybody was sort of like on edge. I remember Ali telling me, I can't wait for it to be my turn. You know, why is the clock not moving fast enough? When am I going to race? So in the end, there was always this sense of, I'm next, and I can't drop the ball. I'm next, and I can't drop the ball. So we sort of kept going and going and going. And also what I want to do, I, I don't want to make something that's special. You know, going to the SEC, going to the NCAA, it's a special opportunity. If you give that to everybody else, it's no longer special. Everybody can have it. And I don't want that to happen to our team. I want to make sure that they earn the opportunity or the ability to compete at this level. It's not going to be for free. They're going to have to earn and pay for it daily in practice and in competition. And the people we took, they knew exactly what was expected, and they embraced the challenge that they had to respond. They had to do well, and they were okay with that. And they'd proven it in practice and in competition before that they can handle that pressure and respond to it. Anything else? Thank you.
place. I will cut to you. <laughs> I'm going to have a big level on Monday.